Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jochen. I'm a cloud native consultant with 56k cloud in Switzerland. And today I want to talk to you about a follow up of my initial video multi architectural Docker builds with GitLab CI CD. After I recorded the initial video and published it, a fellow AWS community builder, Jason Andrews, reached out to me to talk about the approach I'm taking and also to explain to me the approach he is taking when building multi architectural Docker images. And today in this video, I want to talk to you about his approach and explain to you the changes and differences um, between the approach I explained to you before. So what is Jason actually doing? So he's making use of the platform arguments that are available during build time. So what this means is in the Docker file during build time, you have um, arguments available like the target platform, the target architecture, the build platform, build operating system. And this means with these um, arguments, you can make decisions during the build time. And this is all part of the build kit, so the underlying software underneath. So let's now jump over into the repository. So it's the same repository from my initial video. You will also find the description and the link below. And what you find there now is um, an additional folder where I um, have another Docker file and this Docker file contains the changes um, based on those platform arguments. So let's now have a look at the Docker file. So it starts in the same way with the from clause, but then there's the first change. So what we have here is the argument target platform. And this part is very important because otherwise you don't have access to that variable um, later in the Docker file. Then we also have here the three variables, so the URL um, where to download the Terraform binary and the two files for AMD and ARM64. Then we have the generic part where we make use of the um, Linux package manager to download the binaries for the architecture. And then the last piece is actually where we now make use of the, the platform arguments. And you see here we have two run commands. The first run command um, has starts with the if statement. So if the target platform is ARM64, then we actually download the ARM file and unzip it and put it in the right place. And the second part is um, if the target platform is AMD64, we download the AMD64 binary and install that. So here you see um, as we have these variables available, we can make decisions directly in the Docker file itself. You could also um, use one run command for that. I just wanted to, um, I just split it apart here to give you um, a clearer picture um, of how you can do it. So you can also say here in one run command, if um, yeah, target platform ARM, then else if target platform AMD and so on and so forth. So with this change and a lot of complexity in the Docker file, you maybe guess already that in the make file itself, there's not so much complexity anymore. And you're actually right. So in the make file, we now have just one, one target. And this target is a simple Docker build x build um, part with the push so that we push the image directly to um, a registry. And this is actually necessary um, because the build x command doesn't store the images locally. So you either have to push them directly to a registry or with the dash dash output command. Um, yeah, you can output it to the local file system. Then one difference to the other two um, commands above is we now have in the platform argument, we have the both um, arguments in here. So the AMD64 platform and the ARM platform. And then the rest is similar to above. So we have the image and the tag that we want to specify and the folder itself. So you see this is really a short um, code in the make file. And the last piece is in the GitLab CI CD description. So what we have here is um, roughly the same as before. Um, so we have the variables um, that we need to have. So the, the registry image, um, uh, the image name that we want to have and the tag to use. And then actually here we need to have two commands. The first command is we need to create um, a buildix instance 
because otherwise, um, as soon as you specify multiple platforms, you, you can no longer use the default um, here. And then we simply call um, the target in the make file to build the image. And if we now um, go and say Docker manifest inspect for the for this new image, what we will see here is that we have now with these commands executed already a manifest for AMD64 and for ARM64. So if we go back to the make file, you see we don't need to create um, and push the manifest anymore. And we can um, yeah, just use one command for building, pushing, and also creating the manifest on the way. And one last comment about this platform variable. I showed to you before when we looked at documentation um, that there's a difference between the target platform and the build platform. And that's exactly the reason um, here you see, um, or what you don't know is we build everything in GitLab with their um, public runners. And this is x86 um, architecture. And so there is then if you run the ARM build, it'll be actually different. The target platform will be different from the building platform. So that's um, why you also have during build time this information and you can um, make decisions then there. So with this explanation, um, I showed you the approach or a different approach um, that you can take to um, achieve basically the same thing. And like always in our industry, there's not um, one correct way of doing things. There are always different ways of doing it. And it's always about yeah, where do you want to put the complexity? So in this example, the complexity um, is more in the Docker file, whereas the make file and the GitLab CI CD file are more, um, yeah, more simpler. The other approach I talked to you initially is this, the, there the Docker file is simpler. And on the other hand, then the make file has more instructions. Um, and the GitLab CI CD file is roughly, roughly similar. So it's, yeah, a decision you have to take depending on your team, your knowledge, um, and also the circumstances you have. So if you have any other ways of doing the same thing, please let me know, reach out to me on social media or in the description below.